Okay. Let's see if we're live yet. We should be going live any second now. Let's see if we've got it there. Okay. How does the sound sound? Everybody let me know if the sound is okay for you. And also let me know if the video is okay. It says it's not receiving enough video to make smooth transitioning. Let's see. And it still says it's waiting for me. Hold on. Let's see if it's coming in yet. I guess they're doing their commercial there. Hang on. Three, two, one. Got to get past the commercial. And... Still not coming in. Let me see. Are you guys able to see me okay? And are you able to hear okay? That's the important thing. Let me know. A little bit of lag, says Maz. Yeah, we still can't seem to get rid of that lag problem. We have, like, plenty of internet. And I think the problem here might be part of the, the tools, the, uh, the streamer software. So uh, Joel says it sounds good. Let me make sure everything else here is closed down so that we're not using up all of the memory on the computer. But I did some changes based on what a lot of experts said to try to do last week with the streaming software to make sure that we're not using up all of the memory. Let me close up some of these other ones here, make sure everything's closed up. And it should be just us on the streamer. All right. How does it sound now? Any still got the video lag going? All right. So, as we wait for a few more people to show up, I wanted to give you guys a sneak preview of what's coming up for the next tool giveaway. So, here, if you guys saw our video last night where we did a review of this, the Spud Stud. If you guys are not familiar with this, you got to go check out that video. So, the Spud Stud, what this are is, see, there's four 8-inch stainless steel, food-grade stainless steel nails inside here. And you use these to pierce into your baked potato and by having the heat rod going all the way through the potato and coming out the other side what it does is it transmits the heat into the center of your spud and that way it cooks a lot easier and quicker and better and all that other stuff there so uh, we're going to be giving away two of these so two lucky winners will get this next time this will be sometime around black friday and and sick duck says hey jeff what's up and J. Morgan, 1980, says, I haven't heard you say my name yet. Something is wrong. <laughs> well, there you go. You just got it now. And Koneman says, it could be your camera yet to check your settings. Well, yeah, I can see it lagging right now there again. And, you know, I even dropped the frame rate. I did everything in the OBS that everybody says to do to prevent lag. But <clears throat> I don't know. Sometimes it can still happen anyway. But uh, as long as we have the audio, we're good. Now, I want to show you this kit. Now, you guys remember, you might remember this kit. I've been telling you guys about this one for weeks. And um, thank God a lot of you have been able to take advantage of this kit. This is the, uh, the DCD996P2. And this is that hammer drill kit that's available at Lowe's. And a lot of people don't know it's there because it's on clearance. The store employees don't know it's there. But I've sent a number of you in there to go and get this kit here, see? And so, um, let me see. I paid about 144 for this kit. And um, so we bought an extra one, and we're going to give this one away, too, around the Black Friday time frame. So hopefully you'll... Uh, I can see some of you already foaming at the mouth about getting this, because I know a lot of you try to go out there and get this, and, you know, sometimes... We have to go into one, two, or three stores before we can find it. And, and sometimes you still walk out empty-handed, you know? So there you go on that one. And, you know, like I tell people, this is how you find it. When you go into Lowe's to find it, it's usually way up top, and it's with all of the other yellow DeWalt boxes. But you notice how this one looks distinctly different because it has the black plastic sticking out of the edge here. And so when it's doing that, sticking out of the black like that, it's very easy to spot. This thing sticks out like a sore thumb. And sometimes they'll have the SKU number sticking on it. So there may still be hope for you yet. Somebody an hour ago just sent me a message that they were able to get one of these at their local low store there. So let me put that there. And then the other one, uh, 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 
this is another one that we're going to be giving away around Black Friday time frame too. So uh, we haven't we haven't figured out what date we're going to start the contest. It'll be sometime around Black Friday. But you guys have seen me. Uh, I posted a video a few days ago telling you about this. No, was it on the? Yeah, it was on the Home Depot um, special buy of the day, and on my community page, I posted a photo of this. So this is a great deal right now because this guy right here is the, the Milwaukee multi-tool kit, and it's $99 with a 1.5 amp hour battery and a charger in a bag. I mean, that's a steal because right now this thing is $199. In fact, I'm going to see if I still have it here. If you scan in this barcode on your Home Depot app right now, uh, let me see if I still got the price tag on it there. Yeah. It shows up as one ninety nine, right there. See, so you'll see it as one ninety nine online, but don't pay attention to the price because when you get into your store, you're likely to see it at ninety nine dollars. So that's what a lot of people have done. In fact, I went in and got this kit uh, yesterday, and there was six of them in my store, and I picked up two of them: one for me, and one for you guys. So we're going to be giving this one away here too. All right, so let me see what sort of questions we got here. Anybody got any questions? And remember, if you want to ask a question, you got to put at Jeff Ostroff on there so I can see. It kind of flags me down a little better so I can see what's going on there. Oh, SoCal likes that sound effect there. I hear that too many times when I go in looking for something and it's not there. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, and then um, it, it's always funny when when you're trying to um, meet with the employees and you're saying, this is the part number I'm looking for. And, you know, they look at you and it's like, you know, it's like you're hearing crickets. They have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> so on a lot of these folks, you have to be on your own. Forget about the employees. Just go in there, look up top, find it yourself. Because a lot of times the employees don't even know it's there or they think it's not. Or they check the inventory, and the inventory system might say that there's none there, but yet there will be one there. So you just got to watch out for that. And Roby Films says that the M18 multi-tool is 99 is a steal. Yeah, as a matter of fact, do I still have... Uh, I still have my Black Friday ad from Home Depot from last Black Friday. And that same multi-tool deal was there last last year. Let me see if it was. I saw it a little while ago in here. And it was a $99 deal. Uh, yeah, here it is. Now, I don't know if it's the exact same model, but I'm assuming it is. Because the way they're describing it, it came with a 1.5 amp hour battery. So this right here is last year's Black Friday price on that multi-tool, which was a screaming deal last year when they had it. And Nick says, don't forget that you now have moderators to keep it family friendly. That's right. Thanks, Nick. Thanks for everybody helping out. So I guess I should, but you think we should probably choose the first winner now? I want to make sure, was there any other tools? Uh, so I'll be collecting up more tools between now and that Black Friday giveaway to uh, help y'all out with, make somebody's Christmas. All right, so let's go ahead and pick the first winner and so wait a minute but ultra destiny gamer was asking jeff why some home depot already have sales display sometimes they jump the gun i can tell you in my area the home depot and the lowe's are both very progressive and they often have their stuff up so if you saw my live stream from lowe's earlier in the week they already had the gift zone set up that's the i call it the stocking stuffer aisles where they have all those little tool kits and stuff that they you know greatly discount and so I don't know why. I don't know why our stores have them up before everybody else. Um, and before I started, I also did want to remind you guys about that that six-tool DeWalt toolkit that we told you about earlier in the week. And I went to my store. To, um, it was funny. It was there online for four ninety nine, And we showed you how it's worth $1,297 with the tools in there. And it's four ninety nine. And it said there was three in my store. So I put it in the shopping cart, and it immediately said, error, there's, no, there's none in your store. I'm like, what? So we just have to wait. Um, those are brand-new kits because two of the tools are FlexVolt Advantage tools. And so those will be ready, uh, hopefully, when 
when uh, about 11.2 or 11.3, whenever those uh, sales start hitting in all of the stores at the same time there. And 7357 Kicker says, is the new DeWalt Advantage tools really worth it? I don't think most of us will really notice the difference. I think the people that will really notice the difference are the people that are driving that thing super hard into concrete, you know, with the big bits and everything. Because it's like, all right, so it, it pumps out more power. The RPMs are the same. I think the torque is allegedly the same. It just has the ability that when it needs to and when it senses it to give more output power. I don't know what that means in relation to the specs because it doesn't show that the specs change. The exact same specs as the DCD996 that I already have. So maybe you see it goes in a little easier. I don't know. But I'm, if you're just doing average drilling and, and some minor torque stuff, I don't think the software is going to kick in on that. And I don't think you're going to notice a difference. Uh, but it makes a good selling point for them. And plus it gets confusing because over at Lowe's, the DCD998, you have to use the 8 amp hour battery. Okay, so you got to remember all these things. Oh, wait, that's this model. I have to have this battery on this model. How many people are going to remember that, you know, which is why I like the, the Home Depot versions better because you can use the FlexVolt batteries on them. Okay, Sergio C says, hey, checking in a little late. You're late? Dude, that's a buck a minute for every minute that you're late, brother. You know that. <laughs> all right. So let's go ahead and pick, pick out the first name, the first winner. Okay, so this is for the Craftsman 105 piece, which is this guy right here. Okay, so this is the one that I told you about then on the last tool giveaway. The guy didn't enter his email address right, so we were never able to contact him. So put that right there where it won't fall over. Okay, so the way this works is I go into the thing, and it says finished. And let me see, where do I pick the winner? Oh, so I go to winners tab. And so this is all done by Gleam. So everything I do, I upload everything on their website, and it takes away any partiality. I, I don't have any way of choosing the winner. I just come in here, and I tell it to draw the winner. I hit a button that says draw the winner. So we're doing that right now. One winner to draw, and we're drawing that name right now. And this is for the Craftsman 105 tool set. And it is Jonas Alarcon. And let's see where he's from. From Huntington Park, California. So congratulations, Jonas, on winning, winning this one here. And what I'm going to do, like, let me remind you folks. Um, hold on, where's the... So some of you guys that are winning the bigger ones, what I'm going to do is once I get your email address and everything and, and contact you, is I'm going to send you a little link to a little eBay listing that I made for like 99 cents because you see this DeWalt case right here that we're going to pick a winner for tonight? When I went to ship this for the last winner, they wanted $34. I'm like, you have got to be kidding me because they've gotten such ripoff rates now because of the COVID-19. So what I do is I set up a little 99 cent thing. That's the cheapest listing you can do in eBay. And I have you just buy it. And when you buy it, that enables us to get a 38% discount on the shipping through eBay, through the eBay, you know, the volume discount. So that's the way we'll do these. <clears throat> All right. All right. So congratulations on that, Jonas. And let's see if we have any other questions we can answer here. And Nick Squitcherino checked in. What's up, Nick? And discernment file says, I just got all new XR, so I'm sticking here. Good. Um, let's see, any other questions? Jesse Coper says, thanks for making these videos and sharing the tool deals. Hey, always glad to help out. And Alan says, congrats. Soon you'll head 5 million. Oh, man. That would be awesome, huh? I, I would have like a team of people just going out and buying the tools to give away at that point. And Novus Nick says, stoked for the winner. And William Franceschini says, how can I get to participate in your contest? Well, I guess you didn't watch last week, but we had the links were down below in the video description last week when we did the live stream. So um, unfortunately, this one's already closed and ended, but there will be another one coming up, which if you missed it, if any of you missed it, this is one of the tools that we're going to give away next time. 
and uh, <clears throat> this is the other one that we're going to give away next time. So I'm giving you a little sneak preview on that. And also these spud studs. I'm going to be giving away some of them as well. All right. <clears throat> so let's go pick the next guy. The next winner. Okay, so that one was the... Uh, let's go back to it. Oh, do I go to competitions? They make you go through a lot of clicks to get to where you're going on here to choose the winner. Uh, where is it? Example. Well, let me see. Somehow it disappeared. I got to keep looking for it. So, um... Uh, what other big tool deals were there coming up this week? You know, just make sure you guys watch. As soon as you see those sales hit your store, which should be by November 2nd, look for that DeWalt six-tool kit because at $4.99, that thing is a steal. And I'll probably sell off the tools that I don't want, like the Atomics that come in there, and I'll probably sell off the Tough System 1.0 box that comes with it. All right, let me see what's going on here with these competitions and why it's not there we go finished all right so we did the 105 piece now we're going to pick the winner for the tough system 2.0 medium box let me see if i can show you that one here that's this one so we're going to pick the winner out right now for this guy okay and let's see go to winners is a pick the draw winner button. And so the winner for this one is, come on. And this would be, I hope I got the name right, Mehmet Killick. Mehmet Killick from Brooklyn. He's from Brooklyn. All right, so you are the lucky winner of that DeWalt 2.0 case. Congratulations, Mehmet Killick. And... William says, thank you, Jeff. Appreciate that. And I like that. Nelvis Nick, winner, winner, chicken dinner. And Josh White says, Tennessee here. How much have I missed? Dude, Josh White, man, you won the Ferrari, man. You weren't here to collect it, so we had to give it to the next guy. Whoa. All right. Let's see. Okay, so the next one we're going to give away now is this one. So this is the DeWalt Tough System 2.0. This is the small case. This is great to put, like, your impact driver, your drill driver, get some casein foam in there, and put a few batteries and a charger and maybe a couple of bit kits. Have them all lined up nicely in there. Okay, so let's go pick that one. And if we go to... And I notice a lot of people are still asking, how do we win? Maybe some of the mods could just kind of let them know how and what's going on, but basically it, it ended already at 8 p.m., uh, but let's see. Uh, we got to go back up, and we're going to find that Tough System small box, and we're going to choose our winner for that, and it says draw winners, and we're choosing one and only one winner for that, the DeWalt Tough System 1.0 box. Hey, that would be Ryan Stevens from Gainesville, Georgia. Congratulations, Ryan Stevens. This will be yours, buddy. So cool. I just love giving away stuff. I feel like Santa Claus, man. I just need a sleigh. If I had my sleigh, my sleigh's in the shop right now. So if I had my sleigh, I would just be flying around the country and delivering all of these things to you guys. All right, so... Um, by the way, you know, earlier in the week, the Walmart Black Friday flyers were leaked out. And there's some pretty smoking deals on, like, some kind of no-name-ish TVs. But, hey, if you're looking for dirt cheap, you know, that's great. Um, but there is a, for those of you who are into heart tools or just don't have the money to buy the big boy tools, you know, um, there's a four-tool heart kit 
coming up on on um, when I forget which week it is. See, they're phasing it in like four different weeks in November, but that heart toolkit with the four tools in it is going to be one hundred and nineteen dollars, and it's currently one hundred and seventy nine dollars if you pull it up on Walmart's website right now. All right, so let me see what other any other questions came in here. And okay, so we're going to choose the next one, the next tool here. And this one is the, the Craftsman seven piece metric combination wrench set. Let me show you that one. Let's see if this is the metric one. Is this the metric? That's the SAE. Is this the metric? Yeah. So this is the one we're giving away here, the seven piece metric. And is this the combo? Yes, this is just the plain combination wrench, box wrenches here, seven of them. So let's choose this winner here. So this winner, draw winners, one. And we have a winner. And that would be Edward V from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Edward V from San Juan, Puerto Rico. So we'll go ahead and save that there for Mr. Edward. Congratulations on that one, Edward. Um, and let's go pick the next one. So everybody is the tension building now each time. Actually, you know what? What I forgot to do was... Um, every time somebody wins, I forgot to... Give the applause, you know? All right. So the next one would be the seven point, yeah, the seven piece combination. And I think we have two winners in, in this category. Let me see. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah. So this one is the seven piece. This is SAE that we're giving away here. And these are 12 point standard SAE combination wrench. And let me see, because I think there might be two. We have two of these, so I think there's two. Win yeah, there are. So I'm going to draw two winners for this one. It's always cool when you can have multiple copies. It makes it easier. Okay, so the two winners are Carol Clark from Texarkana, Arkansas. Carol Clark. And the other one is Randy Soriano from Tracy, California. Randy Soriano from Tracy, California. So nice, nice games. Uh, and congratulations to both of you. And let's see what else we got. Let me check in on a couple of questions here, because I'm sure there's probably some streaming by there. And let's see. Eugene says, yo, I guess I won again. James Cooper says, Hart versus Harbor Freight Tools. Who's your winner? They're probably in the same category. One thing I know is that most of the tools at Harbor Freight only have like a 30-day warranty. I mean, make sure you check the warranty before you buy anything in there. Uh, and I, I think Hart, I, I forget if they're one year or three years, I forget. But anything's better than, than you know, 30-day warranty for sure. Okay. Let's go ahead and get the next prize out the door. Oh, this is the um, stud finder. <clears throat> so this is the Craftsman stud finder. So we're going to give this away. Actually, this one had 1,936 entries on it. Yeah, so a lot of people entered these here. Oops, I got to go back. Choose the winner. Got to go to the winner's tab. Go back into the Craftsman thing. It's like driving around in Boston. If you go down the wrong street, you have to... <coughs> Do all sorts of turns and stuff. Winners. Hmm. Okay, let's draw the winners. Okay, so the winner here is Michael Miller from Tumble, Texas. Michael Miller, Tumble, Texas. Okay, my sister used to live in Tomple many years ago. All right. 
So we have that one. And let me see what the next one would be. I'm just going right down the line of the, the gifts there. Okay, so now we're giving away the DeWalt set. Where is that guy? I feel like Vanna White. Okay, so this one had 2,747 entries. So if you won this one, you are one lucky dude. I'd be out buying Powerball tickets right now. Draw the winners. One lucky winner. Let's see what we get. Okay. And the winner would be Stephen McDonald from Southfield, Michigan. Stephen McDonald. It's yours, buddy. So remember, you're going to be getting an email from me later on, and uh, we'll figure out how we can... I'll set up the little thing on eBay. You just click on it, and um, that way I'll be able to get the 38% discount on shipping because otherwise um, this thing's gonna, they're going to want like 35 bucks. It's insane. Mostly it's the weight, but it's also the length because this right here would put it in a box. And if you have any box over 12 inches right now, they're considering that oversized. I mean, isn't that a slap in the face? Oversized shipping for any box over 12 inches. And that, that just sends you in, into a whole new stratospheric category of rates because you're considered oversized. All right, let me check in and see what kind of questions and stuff. Man, we got lots of people flying by with the questions. So Jonas says that Hart has three-year or five-year warranty. Yeah, so there you have it, you know. And Chaka Gillis, our good friend Chaka, just checked in again with a $2 super chat. Thank you so much, Chaka. And Chaka says, good evening. Ryobi Hart and HF are trash. Well, the HF one, I definitely agree on that one. Right, Ubi, I'm still like, eh, eh, eh. Come on, Chucky, you got to enter. We got to send you one of these Ryobi uh, tools. So what about that foam blaster there? Hold on, let me see if I can get that over here. Oh. Look, Shaka, this has your name on it, brother. Right there, right there. All right, so let's see what the next tool is. And... Ah, TX Javi says, let's go, Texas. <laughs> and let's see. Okay, I'm going to pick the next one now. So the next winner is, let's see what the tool is. We did the DeWalt one. Oh, so now we're doing the Bosch nine-piece Daredevil spade bit set. Let me show you that. This is another category with his two winners. Ooh, yeah, man. So... 1,890 of you entered, and only two of you are coming out alive. So here we go. The winners are... I'd be good on the lottery channel there, wouldn't I? And the winning numbers are... Okay, so we have two, number, two, two winners that are being drawn right now, and they are... Okay, that one says Peter J. from Palmdale, California... And the other one is Ray, is that Boski? Ray Boski, I hope I pronounced that right, Ray. Ray Boski from Chicago, Illinois. And Peter J. from Palmdale, California. Both of you, congratulations on winning this tonight. Okay. What else have we got here? Let's check in on a few more questions. So Novice Nick says, a little buffering going on. Yeah, I'll try to go like slow. I'll try not to move too much. And I still got to figure out why, because I've got every setting in the software done properly. And I even ran tests today. I did some private live streams today, and they look perfect. So who knows? Maybe when it, when it hits the fan and it's time to go and you have multiple people on here, I don't know. I have no idea why uh, YouTube does that sometimes. And Nicholas Didier says, Jeff, which is more scarier, watching Jeff or scream on CBS? <laughs> Probably me. <laughs> uh, okay, so the next one. So Jerry Mills says, Chaka is a secret closet Ryobi lover. He is. He just won't admit it yet. Got to come out of that closet there, Chaka. 
So, yeah, one of the other prevailing um, theories we have on why Shaka doesn't like Ryobi is that I had come up with a few months ago was I think he dated a girl whose who's father sold Ryobi. Maybe she broke up with him, you know? That's, that's what I think. So um, I dated a girl once whose dad sold tractors, and she wrote me a John Deere letter. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, yeah. All right. But enough of that. And William Franceschini just checked in with a $2 Super Chat. Thank you so much, William. Yeah, and those Super Chats help because every little bit adds up and enables us to go out and buy all of these tools and stuff, you know. So the more that, that people send us over time, um, we're able to go back into the stores, you know. Uh, Robert Bates is another generous guy that comes on our channel. And uh, he gave us some money the other day. So I was already in Home Depot the other night buying, actually, I'll show you. For those of you who checked in late, we used some of that money to buy this one here that we're giving away at Black Friday. So that should be a good deal. All right, so let's go check out the next winner. Let's see what we've got. Go back to the list. And we're going to do the... The Lufkins. Where are my Lufkins anyway? Oh, hang on. They're right here. Okay. All right. So, for the Lufkins here, we have not one, but two. We got two winners. And these are great, man. I, mean, I love these Lufkins because they have such a great mechanism. But see, they're that night eye. These are called the night eye. And these are so smooth. I just love these. It's like butter. Like butter. All right. So let's pick our two winners on this one here. So I'm in there now. I'm going to hit the draw winners button. We're going to pick two winners for the Lufkins. And they are Michael Clapp from Kalamazoo. We've got another Michigan person there. And we have Jonathan Berg. From Air, let me see if I can pronounce that right. Airdrie AB Canada. We got a Canadian. Okay, so congratulations to you two guys there. Michael and Jonathan, the winners of the Lufkin tape measures. All right, let me put these aside here. I had so many tools to give away, man, there's like no room to move around here. Let's check back in with the crowd. See if there's any reactions here. <laughs> Howie Z says Chaka was a sniper in the military. Oh, he's probably like hanging outside at Home Depot waiting to see anybody go near that display there. Chaka, you would probably appreciate the new display that they set up about a couple of months ago. It looks a lot nicer than the older one for sure. So Michael Hoffman says buffering is because of lack of likes. Mm. I say, I don't believe that. I know Vince and those guys always say that, you know, the stream is, is this because of the lack of likes. That's, I don't think that there's any truth to that. I haven't seen any reports of that by any other people or experts or, you know, any of that stuff, any other technical guys. I, it's just sometimes, you know, when you're going live, sometimes the signal breaks up. I'll be in Home Depot and, and doing that speedtest.net or whatever it is, that, that check to see your, your... And I'll have 12 megabits per second of upload, which is more than the... I think four is what they say is the minimum. Doesn't matter. It could still start blocking up on you. I think the problem is just on YouTube's end there. All right. So Anthony Chappell says, just bought a new house and now have many projects. What's the best power tool brand for new homeowners that will be able to hold up for a while... Well, you know, you can't go wrong, really, with Makita, DeWalt, or um, uh, Milwaukee. And many people even like their rigids as well. I've had rigid tools. I have a rigid uh, table saw, and I had a rigid tile saw, and I was very happy with them. So, really, you, you know, you stick with those four. It's pretty hard to go wrong. And I would just suggest to you that you buy brushless tools. So make sure when it, before you go up to that register that you're looking at a tool that's a brushless tool. And the reason why you want brushless is because there's a lot less friction in the motor because it's not like brushing against the, the motor as it spins. So if, if you remember the old, 
the old tools, the old drills of old. If you pull the trigger, you'd see like the spark come out of the inside. That's a brushed motor. Those generate more heat. And the bad, they don't last as long on the battery. You'll be recharging your battery that, more, that much more often. Uh, the manufacturers tell us that they get about 30% more battery life um, out of each charge by using a uh, brushless, brushless tool there. Okay. And Luis Alvarado just checked in from Pico Rivera. Yeah, Pico Rivera, California. All right. Yeah, so you guys in California are having a really good break right now with that DeWalt folding uh, workstation table. In your area, in mostly in Southern California, that table is $69 right now. I don't even think it ever went back up. It's normally $99, and it's $99 at my store and most of the other people around the country. And typically around Christmas, they might lower it for a short period of time to $69. But you guys have had that like all summer long, so you're doing great over there with that. Okay, so let us go pull up the next winner and see what we've got here. So we did the Lufkins. Are we doing the Ratchet now, the Milwaukee Ratchet? Yes, we are. Hang on. This guy. Oh, I love this. I have this tool, man. I've, you've probably seen me do this in the several of my videos, but... Uh, whenever I install a dishwasher, these are great. You put a little socket on it and it enables you to reach around in front and raise or lower the legs of the dishwasher, you know, from above with the socket. So it makes it just so much more easier. 2,317 of you signed up for this one. So whoever wins this one is doing really good here. Let's go draw the winner and hit the draw button. Now, some of you got multiple entries. I think there was only like 730 different people that actually signed up for it. And the winner is Rodolfo Zamora of El Monte, California. Got a lot of California winners tonight. Rodolfo Zamora of El Monte, California. Congratulations, brother. So you won that. <clears throat> and let me come back here and... <clears throat> and see who's asking the questions. So Roly R says, VCG is a cool guy. Yeah, they're a great channel, man. I love those guys, man. Especially love Nick, because I'm a kind of a DeWalt guy, too, at heart. And whenever he goes, let's go, baby, he cracks me up. Love that. Okay, Jack's plumbing video says, new measuring tapes are garbage. I have a 1970s true value tape still working. And a lot of people swear by the Stanley Fat Max. So um, we're having hurricane impact windows installed. And when the guy from the company came here to give us our quote and measure all the windows, you know, these are the guys that know because they're like extending way up doing window measurements. He swears by his Stanley Fat Max. He likes to stand out on it and it's stiff enough that it doesn't like <laughs> cave in on him, you know. And let's see. And Michael Cooper says, I'll follow Jeff Ostroff and Tool Boss any day. Yeah, you can't go wrong with, with our channel here, Tool Boss. Um, yeah, VCG, Client Graphics, Chris over there. That's a really great channel. These are some of my favorite channels, Paul Peck Drywall. You'll learn a lot there on how to do drywall. Roger Wakefield, great plumbing channel. Uh, who are some of the other ones? Uh, Den of Tools is okay, too. They, they do a lot of uh, mostly Harbor Freight tools and discussion there. So those are kind of the ones I... Oh, and uh, Project Farm, I think that's the name. That guy's great because, see, I'm an engineer by, you know, schooling, and I used to work at Motorola as an engineer, and we used to do a lot of advanced life testing on the phones and drop testing and stuff like that. And so he he's like an engineer's engineer. He... When he tests tools, he has he comes up with these contraptions that they use to measure, like torque or this or that or pull strength and grip strength and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, Project Farm is an, is another great channel to check out. And Green Bike says, "What up, Jeff? Why do you think VCG construction had been melting down on the trolls lately? What do you mean? I I don't I haven't really seen anything, so I don't really know what was going on over there." 
all of us get trolls. I get trolls all the time, too. There's, there's some of them that you got to really take them to task because they'll come in and watch like one minute of a video and then say all sorts of lies like you didn't do this. You did this wrong. You did this wrong. You did this. They're just trying to make themselves look like they're knowledgeable. And, you know, it's very easy when somebody's lying to poke holes through their lies, you know. And <laughs> Bama Fence is rigged. That's not. That's why I do that. I do it through Gleam because all I do is push the button and they're the ones that choose it. So who knows? Maybe they're rigged. Yeah. Um, Koneman says, how many Florida winners have you ever had? I don't think we've had any. I wish there were because the I'm in South Florida here in Fort Lauderdale, right? The farther away I got a ship, the more it costs. And it's just my luck that usually like the like this one here, the big ticket items are usually the ones that end up out in California or Washington. I'm like, no. So I just would, I wish I had some sort of major account with some of these shippers, you know. And... Oh, yeah, Nick. Hey, Brian, are you talking about Nick? He cracks you up. I can't use a tool for crap. Well, one thing I notice a lot about Nick is when he's going to drive in those nails, he's not in 90 degrees. You want to be in, like, completely 90 degrees. So that's why in a lot of these where Vince just barely edges him out, I was like, Nick, if you were just in straight down, you would have been fine, you know? Because going in at an angle in the wood, like, forget about it, man. So you're working harder. All right, so let's go pick the next winner. Yep, and each one of those channels that I mentioned there, they all have their own um, great things to give you, you know. You should all be hanging out on there. Let's go to the next prize. See what we've got here. So we did the, the ratchet. Now we're doing the, oh yeah, the impact. Hang on. <clears throat> We're giving this one away now. 3,031 entries on this one. Gee, I wonder why. Might have something to do with that word right there. See that word fuel? You know what that says? That says Jeff doesn't go second class ever. So let's go pick up this winner here. And let's see if it shows how many actual users there were. Wow. There was 163 invalid entries on this. I wonder if that's people that entered in their email address wrong or did something wrong. I don't know. I'm going to have to dig into those and find out why so I can give you guys all the feedback later on on the next drawing so we don't have so many uh, failures. But And I got to see, because uh, I don't think they have like where they make you enter your email twice to confirm it, and that could be part of the problem. Okay, so our winner here is Ryan, I hope I'm pronouncing this right, Belisa, Belicha, it's from Great Falls, Montana, Brian, you're the man, you're the one that wins this one tonight. Alrighty then, so let's see if there was any... Further fruitful discussion. Limestar says, I'm ready to win in local. Yeah, I wish somebody with local would win. I could just drive it over there and drop it off. Wouldn't even have to go to the post office. And the other thing that stinks too, guys, is FedEx closes. Well, they don't close. But your drop-off time is now 4 p.m. It's not 6 p.m. like it used to be. That really puts the pressure on you. I can't begin to tell you how hard it is to get out the door and get over there at 4 p.m. when I used to do it at 6 p.m. Because if you're not in there by like 10 minutes to 4, that's it. Their guy comes and picks them up, and that's it. It goes out the next day. And if it's on a Friday, then it won't go out until Monday. It's just really, really bad. So. Okay. The next winner here. I need to come up with a thing. You know how Vince does this? You know, I need to come up with something like that when, when somebody wins. All right. Um, oh, yeah. The, the string trimmer. Okay. Hang on. Put this guy right here. Oh, oh yeah. This is my baby right here. 
Okay, so now we're giving this one away. Now, a funny story behind this one. I think this is the one that I got for $49 because there was a glitch in their system one day. It's supposed to be 99 and I went and ordered it, and boom, got it for $49. So let's go ahead and pick the winner. There was 2,600 people entered on this one. And let's go see what the winners look like here. We're going to draw our winner. There were seven invalid entries on this one. So seven people didn't get something right. <clears throat> let's see what we got. Winner is Chris Muller from New York. New York, New York. Chris Muller. Congratulations, Chris. On that one there. That's a nice gift to get, man. That's a really nice one. See, I try to go with the big stuff, you know, give you the goodies, the goods. A couple of cheapy ones in here every now and then, but um, actually, when I was showing um, on my live stream at Lowe's the other day, I was showing you these Craftsman Impact driver sets there. Some of them were marked down on like five ninety nine, dudes. I picked a few of those up that we're going to give away at the next giveaway as well. And Rick Washak says, Jeff, remember, Vince is a carpenter and Nick is a video man, but is getting better at operating tools. So Vince does, I thought he was just more or less kind of an overall general contractor. We'll have to find out. I'll have to get him in a room, put the spotlight on him. What is it that you do? So I, I thought he was more like the, the, the GC. Um, <clears throat> so Greg B says, congratulations, guys, and thanks for the giveaways, Jeff. Good, we love doing them. Let's go to the next one, the next tool on the list. Next up on the hill in our house of Vaudeville. Uh, we did the string trimmer. Okay, now we're doing the, ah, uh, Shaka Gillis could be the winner here. Hold on. Let me see. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Keep your fingers crossed, Shaka. You might be the winner here. So, 2,141 of you entered this one here. This is the, um, the 320 PSI. Um, they call it the power cleaner. It's really not that powerful. It's really... It's really about useful for washing cars and windows, stuff like that. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and pick the winner. You can pick your winners, but don't pick your nose. All right. So we hit the button there, and who's the winner? The winner is Alan Arian from Buffalo, New York. So we got our second person from New York here. So congratulations there, Alan. You'll like this. I mean, I have this, too. It's pretty nice. And, by the way, <clears throat> there is, um, well, they don't, have, they don't show it here. After they released this, Alan, they came up with a, uh, a soap bottle that plugs on to the end of this. Ryobi did. You can get it off Home Depot's website. And I'm going to try to score another one to give away, too. But we're going to do a tool review on that one. So it's another attachment you can buy that goes right on the end. You can use that to suds up your car rapidly. It's a nice little tool. All right. Let's see if we got any other comments. Novice Nick says, Jeff, I got it for 49 plus a battery. Five amp hour. Is there a battery in that one or is it tool only? Yeah, mine's tool only. <clears throat> so it was one of those glitches that probably lasted a couple of hours on Home Depot's website. And Misfit says, yo, Jeff Ostroff, yo. So Stan the Man says, crap, looks like I'm not going to win anything again. I know, with so many tools given away and stuff too, man. You know, I have your same luck too, Stan, because I could be the only guy playing bingo and still lose. That's how bad my luck is with that. Let me see if there's any, what else we have, because I know we have the wipes and we have this other... So, Alan, the winner of the, the sprayer, this is, this is not the foamer I'm telling you about, but it looks similar to this. It's actually got a bigger, wider bottle on the bottom. Um, so this was the, the other one. Let me see if that's on here. Yeah, the pressure washer foam blaster. So this one is meant to actually go on a real pressure washer with a quarter-inch connection thing here. So 1,926 of you entered this one. And there was eight invalid entries. And let me see, does it show? Uh, 
sometimes it'll say how many, uh, for some reason it's not saying how many people did enter. Oh, there it was. It was um, 594 people actually entered this one. But some of you get, you know, multiple entries. And let's see. Drawing the name. It's a little bit slow. Jake Shipper. All it says is Wisconsin, USA. Jake Shipper. Congratulations, Jake. And sorry, Shaka. You did not win this one. All right. What else do we have? Let me see if there's any other tools on here. Got the foamer. <clears throat> we have the can of Lysol. I don't see my can, but I'll, I'll find it later. But we do have it. <clears throat> so we had 371 entries for the Lysol. And let's draw that entry. And by the way, that's a 19-ounce can. It's a massive can. It's not like the little ones that you find at Walmart and Home Depot and all that. Because I got these at um, Costco in the big four-packs. <clears throat> let's see Ryan Marsh from the United Kingdom I don't know how they were able to because uh, I thought it was supposed to be like cut off from people outside the US but we'll see we'll have to work out a thing on that and then so congratulations Ryan on winning that and what else do we have? We have the canister of Clorox. Let me make sure this is the right one here. So we had 546 of you. Where was that thing? <clears throat> Again, these are the big ones, not the little ones that they sell at, at, um, at like Walmart. Uh, these we got in like four packs, either at Sam's Club or at Costco. They were like the two stores that had a lot of these over the summer. We were able to get them. If you get in there like in the first hour when they first open, that's how long they last. There'll be one whole pallet sitting in there when you walk in the door, and they last about an hour before they run out. So that's that, and let's choose that winner. 546 entries there, and there was only one invalid entry on that one. And there was only 166 different users that applied for that one. And it is Lewis Yip from North Brunswick, New Jersey. Lewis Yip. Congratulations, Lewis, on winning that. So I know a lot of people are still telling me these are very hard to find. I have sisters that live in, in Texas and a brother up in Massachusetts. And I had to buy these by like the four packs, split them up throw them in the mail, and mail them up to my brothers and sisters. Same with the Lysol. So I've probably bought a dozen four-packs since the whole thing started. And we just give away. I mean, a lot of them I give away. We have disabled people that we drive around and give them to, people from our church that we know. We just go and hand them out. <clears throat> so it was a little way for us to kind of give back and help help people in need. So let me go check in and see what we've got here in the in the chat. So Daniel Herweyer says, any suggestions for shipping a 13-pound package across country? USPS is the cheapest at 87. I have found that on a consistent basis, Daniel, FedEx Ground or FedEx Home is cheaper. So if you know for sure that you're sending it to a residence, FedEx Home has, has always been cheaper for me. Or you could do with the person what I'm going to ask each of you that's buying, the, that's getting these big things right here, is I just create this little nothing 99 cent listing on eBay, and the person buys it. And when they buy it, you then all the shipping and everything appears automatically. The label is generated automatically, which is even better. And you're getting <clears throat> like a 38% discount because of the economies of scale of eBay. So that, to me, is much, much better way of doing it. So, <clears throat> Word One says, if I don't win something, you have to mention happy little clouds. <laughs> yeah. So, let's see. Joel Alonso says, congratulations to all the winners, and thank you, Jeff, for doing the giveaways. 
And George Duvall says, I think you're right, Angelo. He doesn't think I could ship that to the UK? Yeah, that might be a problem. <clears throat> we'll have to see. Um, sometimes you just throw something in a box and see what it does. They don't use Lysol in the UK, says J. Morg. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> Yeah, I'm the most expensive Lysol ever. Yeah. Well, I can tell you when I when I sent one of these to my sister. Now keep in mind, I sent it by two day priority mail. Um, it was like twelve bucks, and you know if you were to go buy one of these in the store, I think they're like five or six bucks for the canister. But when people need it and they can't find it anywhere, and my brother does driving, I think for like Uber or Lyft, I forget which one, and <clears throat> so he needs to use like the Lysol and. The wipes, but now he's able. He told me he's able to find the wipes and stuff at Home Depot a lot. He goes early in the morning when they open and finds them. And Jan Funk says, "Will you publish a complete list of the winners on your site?" I got here a little late. Jan, that's a buck a minute for every minute that you're late. So yeah, I will. Um, once I kind of gather up all the list of the names, I will post the winners in the comments of this video here. Uh, below um, after it uploads and everything and so if like if you folks had any questions or anything that didn't get answered in this video or the chat because really they just fly by like crazy just leave it in the comments below and we'll get to it and I think you know what would be a good question of the day for you guys is like what tool would you like to see given away on the next giveaway because maybe I'll do that maybe I'll 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 find out which ones that people are asking for the most, and I'll go out and, and get one. That would be kind of an interesting one, I think, to do. And uh, let's see. And I know we, we get a lot of questions from people still. How do I enter? How do I enter? How do I enter? Well, the way we're going to do you know, the next one is just like all of the other ones. We start with a live chat, just like you're seeing here tonight, and we show you all of the tools that we're giving away. And then at, at that time, we'll have the links down in the video description of that. And you get one week to enter. And so you can come in any time during the week to go and click on those links in the, um, in the video description that take you right to each one of the tool giveaways. And you can, you can enter, and there's ways to get multiple entries too, like if you share it with friends and they come and enter and all that. So that's the, the, like the most common question that we get for that too. And Frank Boyle says, I ordered the Weber ladder, but Home Depot says it's back ordered. Do you think they will honor? I would hope so, because if you bought it at the time that it was there and it said it was there, I would think that they should honor the price. I sure hope they do. Uh, that would be kind of bad form if they did not. Home Depot is only really good about that. And the other thing, too, guys, if you buy something at Home Depot now and you find that it goes on sale like a month or two later – you come back in and bring in your original receipt and everything, and, and they will re-ring it for you and give you the difference back. So last year on Labor Day, I bought that DeWalt, that high-end 12-inch uh, flexible circular saw, not circular, the, uh, the miter saw, and that was $799. And I'm like, I got so mad for two years it wasn't going on sale. So, hey, when the video's still on, too, I'm surprised with the battery going for an hour. So if it goes blank, let me know. I have other batteries sitting here ready to throw in there. But I got that saw for $7.99. I used a 15% off coupon and got it for like $6.75. But at Black Friday, it dropped to $6.99. And so I didn't really do it. I kind of hemmed and hawed about it. And finally on New Year's Eve, I went in there and I said, look, that saw was $6.99. My 15% coupon should have applied to the $6.99 price, not the $7.99. So they did. They re-rang it up and everything for me, and I ended up paying five ninety when it was all said and done. So two hundred dollars off the sticker price on that one. That was my best deal ever. The other question that we're getting a lot from people right now is, "Hey, what are we gonna? What kind of deals are we gonna see on table saws?" And so far, there hasn't been anything, but there might be as Black Friday kind of weeks as those weeks kind of roll out. So last year they had a rigid table saw. A nice 10 inch, same one that I own, uh, for $299. And that one normally sells for like $529. And so, Watt, keep your eye on that one. Keep your eye on the DeWalt compact 10 inch job site 
table saw. It's like it's a nice little compact one about this big. That one usually drops to two ninety nine with a stand. That's what we did last year. They had that one. And then the other one to watch is the Matabo, um, the real big table saw. It's got the legs. The thing collapses down. It's got the wheels and the legs. And it's just about as good as the DeWalt one. So if you guys, um, another good website, or no, website, another good YouTube channel you should check out is A Concord Carpenter. Uh, Rob over there, he's really good. And they did um, some real good reviews two years ago on all of the best table saws. And that Matabo, when it was under the Hitachi name, that one um, was ranked right up there at the top with the DeWall, too. And, and so that, the camera's too hot. All right, let me change the battery here. Let me see if it'll allow me to change the battery. Hold on. Do not adjust your set. It's just, I gotta change the battery. it might still say too hot for a while there we don't know let me see if it's showing anything on there anyway at least you can hear me for now yeah camera's too hot we were trying to figure out a way to get the lcd to stay off but it won't stay off and we did everything that the instruction manual says to do and it wouldn't stay off so um still blank yep so I think we pretty much covered everything that we were going to cover. I did want to get to the um, the Costco thing here and the Sam's Club because I have their flyers for the kind of Black Friday weeks, but I guess we'll have to do that in a few days. So anyway, we're going to sign off now, guys, and thank you all for joining us tonight. And remember, leave your comments and questions down in the video description below and make sure you... Um, comment to us what what uh, tools you want to see coming up. So we're going to leave it here because we're the camera's too hot right now. It can't it can't continue. So you guys have a great night, and we will see you all on the next one. Thanks all.